your boy Jakob is back with his best friend. Okay, beautiful, beautiful story. But also, it seems as if Jakob Pertl saw it coming. He saw the writing on the walls, and we're we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. I want to rest. <laughs> All right, man. So look at this. Look at this friendship between Jakob and Siakam. By the way, Siakam, uh, he's the one who posted this. Uh, he's really excited to have Jakob back. There was also a photo as well in which it showed him with Jakob and it said, we are back. And it was present day, not this old photo. It was present day. And I can't find it. I, I, I saw it somewhere, but now I can't find it. And I didn't save it. So I feel stupid. But basically, the San Antonio Spurs dropped Jakob off in Toronto. <laughs> That's basically what happened. Um, now, you know what else happens? Uh, or you don't, I, I don't have a segue. I'm sorry. I was I was trying to think something clever. I, I'm, I'm too tired. Listen, uh, Clan the Merch Fan. Okay, Clan the Merch Fan.com. Link in the description. Uh, I know you like this. Tell me this ain't fuego. Tell me... This is not Fuego, okay? If you guys want to support the channel, please do. Uh, link in the description. All right, so this is what I came across. Uh, shout out to Tom Orsborn. We're probably going to look at qu quite a few of his stuff um, because he has some really good quotes here. But this is what Jakob Pertl had to say about Zach. This was the last question, last statement he had. We've been giving him the ball in the post more, and he's been really good there. He can knock down some shots as well. He knows where to be on the court, when to stretch out the defense, when to attack them in the role. Now, obviously, this alone isn't enough to say, oh, he, he saw the right of the ball. Okay, not, that, that's not enough. But... I will say this, Jakob Pertl, every single time that I've seen him speak, okay, every time when it comes to his future with the Spurs, he says the right things like, oh, you know, I love it here. I love the Spurs, blah, 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 right? And I'm, I'm not insinuating that he's unhappy. I think that is true. I think he's being truthful there. But there's always like this underlying, and it's really hard to find. I was trying to find the quotes for it, but it's really hard to pinpoint. But there was always this underlining uh, 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 tone in which he was very comfortable going somewhere else. Like Doug McDermott recently, he just went in, like just a couple days ago, he went in on how he's so excited about, about this team and he would love to be here for next year and see what this team becomes. And But Jakob, he's been in that weird place for, for a couple seasons now where he goes out there, he does his thing, he tries his best, he's professional. But at the same time, it always felt like he's on his, he got to step out the door you know he's he's okay with that he's content with that i don't believe Jakob would have signed back with us back with us excuse me if we would have let him go and then we would have uh, offered him money. i i just don't think he would have uh to be honest with you and it makes more sense for him not to um but it seems as if he did see the writing on the walls and he definitely saw himself going to toronto so let's look at some stats here all right zach and I don't think they'll be too impressive because Zach Collins haven't gotten a stupid amount um, of opportunities. He got some opportunities this season, but not a stupid amount. Let's see here. Uh, ESPN. Here, you guys can look with me. Um, good God, look at all these L's. Making more L's. Something M. Got my skims on. Now I'm Kim. I don't know. I, I forgot how it goes. I, I just like Eminem references because Eminem's the GOAT. All right, let's see here. Uh... So this is his stats. Um, funny enough, I did not realize this. I did not realize. Did you guys know this? Th these are his, but not only has he played more games than he has over the past two seasons, three seasons? I don't know. I think I guess three seasons, but his stats are the best that they've ever been. I did not realize that until now, just now. Um, so 9.5 points per game. Um, so he's averaging the most points he ever averaged before. Blocks is still around the same. Um, he's averaging the most assists, but it's still around the same as last year. Uh, it's still around the same as last year as far as rebounds. Um, his percentage is way better, dude. I mean, 49 to 54, about 54 is really impressive. That is not stupid normal. Um, and you can see that his three-point percentage is pretty doggone good. Not, not bad. It seems like it stays in this range, um, 35%. That ain't bad. Uh, but man, that is, that is really impressive. I actually did not know that his stats improved that much I, I i was not now don't get me wrong these other seasons where he got injured and everything maybe just maybe he could have had an opportunity to improve it but i didn't realize that he's having his best outing with us um that's pretty cool uh, and also you can see the amount of uh, field goals that he attempts is most he has over his career 
He averaged about 54 in this year, 54, 2.5 to 5.4. And this year, you can see it's 3.7 to 6.9. So he's okay. All right. And, you know, a lot of Spurs fans, not only Pirtle, but Spurs fans also saw this. I mean, we saw Zach Collins getting more, you know, touches, right? We saw Zach Collins really coming into his own. And I showed you something before, which once again, I'm a terrible YouTuber. I tried to find it, can't find it, okay? Um, but I showed you something before in which we were looking at the stats between Zach Collins and Yaka Pertl, and I was trying to make an argument that Zach Collins definitely uh, can take Yaka Pertl's spot. I mean, that that, that it, it, it seemed as if it was just blatantly obvious because while their stats were virtually the same in every category, like uh, defensively and offensively, um, the, the advanced analytics, the only thing that was different was that Collins can shoot threes. Like it was, it was literally like neck and neck also. And this isn't, this isn't me trying to bash on Pirtle. Um, oh crap. I don't have it up. Hold on. You guys stick with me. Um, I'm not trying to bash Pirtle here, but there, there is something that I do want to show you. Um, and we talked about it in another video as well. And I know it's on here. Hey, you can, you can scroll with me. Okay. Um, I like a lot of things. This is funny. Prepare for standards and make it double. Okay, that's stupid. All right, hold on. Let me show you. Going on down. Scrolling on down. Mm -hmm. Down the Twitter feed. Doom, 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 doom. Where I can't even. Here it is. Okay. So, rim protector's impact. So, as you can see here, Yaka Pertle, he is not that great this season. Now, don't get me wrong. I chalked this up to. The fact that he has no help in the paint when he's out there um because obviously he's a better defender than uh shingun right but we can see here let's go ahead and break this down i don't know if you guys seen this before but basically what this is showing is if the further you go down is how often opponents attack the rim so they attack it more often the further you go down the y-axis and the farther you go left on the x-axis opponents score at the rim more often so Jakob is in a terrible position <laughs> It's a terrible position. So that means people attack you and they're scoring on you. And that insinuates with these players, people do not attack as often, which does make sense. I mean, if you look in here for Embiid, Gobert, uh, 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 Draymond Green, you would you would game plan away from that, right? Like that, that makes sense. Um, but when you see here, Jakob all the way down here, that's not great. Um, but I, I do chalk that up to him not having any help. But also to be this bad, that's that's also on him, you know, as well. So just keep that in mind. So when people start to say, oh, you know, he 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 was holding it down or whatever, he's not as good as he was last season. He's not like terrible. He's still a good anchor. But I think for the returns of what we got, I know that most of that was due to teams really wanting to be a little bit more comfortable um, because things are so tight in the NBA right now. But I think part of that also is we might have overestimated what you could get for Jakob, okay? Um, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I was expecting, I'll tell you what, Bobby, I'll tell you, um, I was expecting Jakob to get, I was expecting to get two first round picks. I am completely content with one through six protected first round pick. I think that is phenomenal. Um, but I was expecting to uh, protect it, that is. And when it comes to uh, DeJounte Murray, that was completely a surprise. I was not expecting that at all. Um, so expectations were maybe slightly higher for Jakob. Um, and expectations were not super high for uh, the DeJounte Murray trade. But the Spurs are doing a good job, man. We're doing a fine job. And the fact that Jakob was more than likely going to be gone and the fact that Josh Richardson was more than likely going to be gone and we still got a return for it, that, that's, that's pretty doggone good. But anyways, I'll give it to you guys later, man. If you want to support the channel, as always, clan the merch or become a patron a youtube member only two dollars per month until next time